Hello everybody, I'm Craig Watkins, Executive Director of the British Chamber of Commerce Thailand and it's my great pleasure today to introduce our recently elected Chairman, Mr Chris Cracknell. Today we'll be covering some of the Chamber's strategic issues and objectives for 2021 and beyond. But first of all, Chris, tell me, why did you stand for the board and then subsequently for the position of Chair? Thank you, Greg. Well, I think uh, the key driver for me is the relevance of the BCCT today for business here in Thailand and business generally, for British businesses looking to expand into Thailand, into the region, and for British businesses that are here and trying to build their businesses to drive forward and be successful. We, of course, have had COVID, very topical. Everyone knows the impact it's had upon the economy. But again, as a British business community, we can work closely together, draw on our strengths and become even more successful as a group here within the kingdom. And as a consequence of that, actually more attractive for British businesses to come into the kingdom in the future. I think it's also been a very challenging time. Technologies are changing, there's new legislation, new ways of working. And this has caused pressure on business and people want to know how they can overcome these challenges. They want to be connected with people who can provide solutions. The British Chamber is a fantastic uh, environment for networking, for meeting uh, new industries, maybe potential clients for yourself, as well as finding solutions to your current business problems. Come and chat to another business friend. You may even find they're a competitor, but they're very happy to share and support other British businesses here. So for me, it's about the challenges that exist at the moment within the economy, the opportunities which are significant for British businesses here and in the region and from the UK coming into Thailand, and it's about supporting the British business community. I've had a very enjoyable business career here starting in 1988, and I know the benefits that we got from working with the BCCT. And it's great that I've got the opportunity now to put something back into the BCCT and help other businesses here grow and be successful. Thanks, Chris. What do you see as our main strategic objectives for 2021? Well, that's very easy for me, thank you, Greg. Um, our strategic objectives are simply set out. And we had a uh, group meeting and a way day for the board and the working group leads shortly after I was elected chairman to agree our key points for the strategy going forward. The first, very clearly, is about membership. Retention of membership, having a real reason for members to be part of the BCCT and them getting a reward for it. Attracting new members, which is a key part of it. There are a lot of British businesses here in Thailand. There are a lot of British, British business people here in Thailand who are not members. And we really want to open the door and show our relevance for them to become members and what we can offer, how we can support them, how we can be part of a wider community. It doesn't matter if you don't want to get involved in committees and things like that. Just become a member, attend events, listen to our webinars. There's a great deal of information to be shared and learned from. It's important that we work together and support each other. Secondly, it's about communication. It's about us telling you what's going on, why we're relevant, how we can help you, what we can do to support you, the events we're running, the webinars. There's a great deal of things going on, some of it more serious, some of it networking, some of it social events like the Life and Style Garden Party. These are great events for everyone to come and join. It's also a fantastic opportunity for British companies and others to show off what they can do, what produce they sell, what technology they produce, what they can do in any sphere or activity. It's open to all and exciting for everyone. We all want to learn about different things. And lastly, our delivery route. This is very much about empowering our working groups, which have specific remits and targets, to deliver against those, to be particularly relevant to the business community. Maybe it's the younger business community, or the more senior business community, or maybe an industry sector, or maybe it's a topic of interest like sustainability. These working groups are actively out there, advocating on behalf of the BCCT with government and other, other uh, organisations here in Thailand, working with members to make sure it's relevant, involving members so there's proper engagement, and then providing feedback through the communication channel. There are three key objectives for this year. Membership, communication, and our working groups to deliver on behalf of members. 
Thanks, Chris. If I may, I'd like to pick up on uh, the membership point. Key to the Chamber's existence is the value proposition that we present to each of our members. And, and one thing we've learned over the last 12 months is that it needs very much a bespoke approach for our members. That's tough with 540 members, mostly in Bangkok, but dotted across Thailand and indeed overseas. But that bespoke approach is, approach is something we've worked very hard on this year. Um, from increased profile for our members through my own and the BCCT LinkedIn profiles. I now have members coming to me and saying, Greg, can you come and visit us? Which is fantastic. That's, that's what we've always wanted. Right up to uh, me and my team introducing our members to other members, business, direct business leads. I've worked with two companies on that basis this week and I have another three to work with. The member company gives me 10 other members they'd like to be introduced to. Because we have very good connections um, with C-suite executives in those companies, we're able to make those connections that lead to real business, a real impact on our bottom line. But one thing we have learned also this year is that we're not communicating these benefits to our members as well as we could. So LinkedIn is part of the battle. Social media, extended social media is another part of it. Our normal email communications, but also face-to-face -face contact, as Chris mentions. The, the Life and Style Garden Party, our regular business networking evenings, are crucial to us engaging one-on-one -on -one with our members and really giving them a direct insight into their own value proposition from the membership. We're very much of the mind that we can no longer sit back and hope that members pay their membership fees each year and don't ask us to do anything. We're adopting a very proactive approach that really supports the strategy that Chris has just outlined. And Greg, if I, if I might add to that, I mean, I know you're out and about, you're meeting existing members, you're going to visit their factories, you're going to visit their offices. Um, you're also uh, look, going out and meeting new members and prospective mm. members and really showing them exactly what we can do. We can, we can reach out and talk to prospective members. And let me also emphasize, the BCCT is not just about Bangkok, it's about Thailand. We reach out across the whole of Thailand. We recently held our first event for about three, five years down in Hua Hin, and we had over 90 people attending that event. It was a great turnout. Mm -hmm. Some of them existing members, some potential members for the future. Um, it's very much open, and Greg and his team do an excellent job in reaching out to this prospective member group and to existing members to keep them involved. And I'm certainly very happy if anyone wishes to approach me to talk about the relevance of membership, I'm here. Please reach out to me and contact me. Happy to chat to you, happy to visit, uh, happy to support you and introduce you to Greg and the team. Thanks, Chris. And I think I'd just like to make a, a final point on membership myself. Um, we're open to executives and businesses of all nationalities. We have Britain and Thailand in our brand, but that doesn't preclude anyone of any other nationality being involved in what we do. And I'd also like to point to our logo, which really demonstrates our core message. Our logo has the Thai and UK flags, which is Britain and Thailand working together. It, is, it, it also promotes um, gender inclusivity with the, the, the images of the male and female holding hands. We're working together. And I think this is the, the message I'd like to leave with you. Join the Chamber, be part of what we're doing. As a member, engage with us. We can make a big difference to your bottom line. Many thanks, Chris, and let's look forward to a fantastic 2021 engaging with our members and new members. Absolutely. Thank you, Greg.